In this problem, we are calculating the probability of a couple of events that are called dependent events. When you have more than one event and you want the, the probability that the first thing happens and the second thing happens, you multiply those probabilities, the probability of the first thing times the probability of the second thing. When they're dependent events, what that means is that the, um, the first item changes the probability of the second item. In this case, we've got a bag of 10 marbles. Five are green, three are red, two are blue. Lucy chooses a marble at random and then chooses another one at random without putting back the first marble. What that means, the first time she chooses, she's got some chance out of 10 marbles, right? Because there are 10 marbles in there. The second time she chooses, she's got some chance out of nine marbles because there are only nine marbles left after she takes one out. So that's the tricky bit with dependent events, being careful about um, our total number of events and, and what's left in the bag after the first event. In this particular problem, it says, what's the probability that the first marble is red and the second marble is blue? Okay, so let's start with the first marble is red. That's the easiest part. When you first start, you have 10 total marbles. Three of them are red. So you'd have three chances out of a total of 10 chances to pick a red marble. Now, the second probability, which we're going to multiply here, we've got a total of nine marbles left. And we want to know the chances of it being blue. Well, there are two in there still that are blue. So that would be two out of nine. So those are the two probabilities. We need to multiply them together. So three times two would be six. Ten times nine would be 90. I'm actually going to, I mean, well, let's do it that way first. Three times two is six and 10 times nine is 90. And then we would simplify. Uh, both of these are divisible by three. Uh, so uh, this would be two and this would be 30. Both of those are divisible by two. That would be one fifteenth. You might have seen that nine is three times three. So we could have canceled there and made that a three. And we could have canceled this two here and made a five here. And then you'd get um, a one on top and a 15 on the bottom. That might be an easier way to do it if you want to cancel. But either way works and tells you that in a bag of 10 marbles um, in this particular arrangement, it's a 1 in 15 chance that the first one's red and the second is blue. So that's a little bit of work with dependent events.